What's up YouTube, it's MacBook here. Today I'm going to show you how to add or remove RAM out of your MacBook. So, uh, I'll do it on my MacBook, which is the Unibody Aluminium MacBook 13 inch. Uh, this tutorial is uh, about the same thing for all the aluminum Unibody MacBooks except for the MacBook Air. So, uh, the MacBook Air is a little different. Um, but, so for all you guys out there who's got MacBook or MacBook Pro aluminum, um, unibody so it's about the same so yeah uh, so this will take you about 15 minutes or maybe a little longer uh, the difficulty is pretty easy and what you'll need is your RAM and a Phillips OO screwdriver so if you don't know uh, do not have a Phillips OO screwdriver um, you can buy one at your local I don't know screwdriver shop even if that doesn't exist but I mean just a shop that sells screwdriver and you just ask for Philips OO or if you have a, a PlayStation or something like that uh, I had a PlayStation portable and it's the same screwdriver so I'm just gonna use that one so that's for me uh, so if you guys have a PSP with a screwdriver you can always use that one so um, that's for the screwdriver and what you need I told you ev about everything so uh, here we go for the tutorial one little thing uh, before you start uh, if you want to buy your RAM, I bought it from Kingston, but I bought it from the Icelander, so it was fairly cheap for here in the Netherlands. But for you guys who live in the US, so for most of the people there watching my vids, um, you can buy your RAM at Crucial.com or OWC.com. So these are the cheapest, and it's exactly the same RAM. Uh, the RAM is as good as the Apple Store, so if you can avoid buying it at Apple Store because that's really mo more expensive, uh, Try to buy it at OWC.com and or Crucial.com. The links will be in the description to the right. So let's go. So here we go. Uh, hello and welcome everybody. Um, I'll just show you how to add or remove RAM out of your Mac right now. So you can see them on the screen there. Um, so first off, make sure your uh, Mac is totally turned off. Then just close it and turn it over. Okay, so um, I recommend having the the back part uh, facing you because that's going to be easier, but uh, that's just personal matters. Okay, so um, first off, remove the battery clap. Just press on this little latch here and pull it. It will automatically remove uh, the battery cover. Then you can remove the battery with this little lip here. So put that all aside. Um, so obviously you need to have a clean area and uh, be sure to not have a static area so that means uh, statically charged so um, yeah uh, then you'll see that there are in total of eight screws so there are four four on the bottom here one two three four and four on uh, the back so what you need to be careful for is uh, this screw so do not undo this screw but these okay because this is for the hard drive and you don't need to remove the hard drive uh, for this tutorial so I'm just gonna undo them now I just unscrewed the four bottom ones uh, I recommend just uh, keeping them in order so uh, what I did right here uh, I just got the four screws so this is not a screw it's just a, a spot on my desk the four screws on the bottom and I'll put the four screws on top um, so you'll notice that all the bottom screws are all the same so it doesn't really matter and um, this screw uh, and all the the top screws are also the same except for this one so this screw is going to be uh, a little smaller than all the others so you may have to make sure that one goes back in that hole so I'm just going to unscrew uh, the four others now so I just unscrewed all the screws right now so I'm just going to show you right here uh, you got the four bottom screws here one two three four and you got these three screws which are a little larger uh, the camera doesn't want to focus 
Well, anyways, you can see they're larger, and this one in the corner, uh, you have to keep that one apart because, as you see, it's really, uh, it's way smaller than all the other ones. So, be sure to put that one back in the same hole. So then, once you've done that, uh, you can carefully uh, remove the um, this layer, I guess. So try to undo it like with the with the latch here, but you need to experiment with this because it's a little. If you do it for the first first time, it will be maybe a little stuck. So so there you go. I just removed the the um, main aluminum part, I guess. So as you see, we got the computer motherboard. Uh, the fan and as you see here you can see the RAM so um, for this RAM part I'm gonna zoom in a bit so you need to oops that's a little too much I'm just gonna keep it like this so here you got the RAM and you, you as you can see uh, we've got one sort of lip here and there so you need to uh, like separate them like this so it should pop up like this and then just carefully remove the RAM so I got twice two gigs so this is one gig obviously uh, so try not to touch the metal things here so uh, do not touch those metal stuff because uh, it can like if it touches your finger it may damage a bit so just try to be careful and just repeat the same procedure for the bottom one so it should pop up as well here so here you must be a little careful because the second one uh, there are two lips you have to separate but uh, once you did the first one it should be pretty easy so you got the second one here just put them aside and then uh, you'll take your new RAM so where did I put mine? oh yeah there you go 